Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I'm very happy to introduce two new RC open source models that have been distilled from DeepSeek V3. The first one is a 10 billion parameter model based on the Falcon architecture, and we call it Virtuoso Light. The second one is a 32B model based on the Quen25 architecture, and we call this one Virtuoso Medium V2 because we've already built Virtuoso Medium and I told you about this one a few weeks ago. So we're gonna look at the benchmarks, you're gonna see how amazing they are. And of course, then we're gonna deploy those models on AWS and run a few tests and I'll share some notebooks with you. Sounds good? Let's get started. The two models are available now on Hugging Face. And of course, I'll put all the links in the video description. So let's first look at Virtuoso Lite. So Virtuoso Lite is a 10 billion parameter model and I was distilled from DeepSeek V3. I'll also put a link to our blog post that tells you a little bit about that process. And uh, this is based on Falcon 10B, which itself is based on Llama 3. So this is a really small model, 10 billion, as you will see in the demo. We're able to run this very easily on a, on a single GPU instance in a very cost-effective way. And yet this is, a, this is a pretty powerful model. So don't let the small size fool you. Um, this is a very, very high quality model. And this is released under the Apache 2 license so that you can go and uh, build cool stuff with it. Also, we have uh, Virtuoso Medium V2. So you may remember Virtuoso Medium, uh, one of the models that we released when we launched the, uh, our inference engine uh, around uh, December time. And, uh, and there's, of course, a video uh, on, on the Virtuoso models. Again, I'll put the link in the description. So that's the next version of it because we love to iterate quickly. Um, this one is uh, still a 32B model based on Quen25, just like Virtuoso Medium uh, V1. And again, this one is uh, distilled from DeepSeq V3 on a much larger data set of uh, over 5 billion tokens. Okay, so I'll let you go through the, the details of those models, the blog post, some pretty cool techniques have been, uh, have been applied to build those models. Uh, what I really wanna show you before we dive into the demo are the benchmarks. Okay, so let me pull up the benchmarks. As usual, it will take uh, a little while for those models to actually show up on the, on the Hogging Face leaderboard, that's fine. Um, but we're evaluating them using the same uh, benchmarks and the same procedure, okay? So let's first look at how those models compare um, to other models we've built. So here in light blue, you see RC Nova 72B, which is a model we released in um, around mid 2024. That was our original uh, 72B model open source, still on the hogging face, you can go and try it. Purple is Virtuoso Medium 32B and pink or something <laughs> is Virtuoso Lite 10B, okay? So as you would expect, Virtuoso Medium V2 is, uh, is the best model of, of the three, uh, no surprise. Um, what is impressive is how it outperforms RC Nova 72B, which when we released it, was the best open source model uh, in, its, uh, in its size category. So it's pretty impressive in a short time frame that we have models you know, in the 30B uh, size range that easily, easily, and you could even say badly, uh, outperform a much larger model like, uh, like 72B. And in fact, if you look at the 10B model, you can see that it's also outperforming um, the 72B model in, uh, in quite a lot of benchmarks. So this goes to show um, that when we're talking about small language models, right, we should actually say smaller and smaller language models because not only do we keep building better and better models, we also keep building them smaller and smaller, right? So the combination of, you know, 
uh, increasing the performance and shrinking the size is amazing news for uh, for customers and for uh, and for organizations who want to build not only high performance solution but also I'd say cost efficient solutions that give them actual ROI instead of just uh, a big uh, a big open AI bill at the end of the month. So that's what it is. Um, feel free to actually compare those to uh, the top uh, models on the leaderboard. Uh, for the, in the interest of time, I'm not going to do this, but you will see that Virtuoso Medium V2 is outperforming not only RC Nova, which is about a year old, it's also outperforming some other 70B models um, that are much more recent. So that's amazing news, more performance, in a smaller package, that means more ROI for all AI builders out there, okay? Look at the numbers, run your tests, make up your own mind, okay? Now let's run the models. Here I'm going to deploy the two models on AWS uh, using Amazon SageMaker, and of course the links to those notebooks will be in the video description. So first of all, import a whole bunch of things uh, as usual and uh, we're going to deploy using uh, the uh, lmi container by aws which is uh, dgl serving uh, powered by vllm okay so virtual lights as mentioned is a 10 billion parameter model okay so parameters are 16 bits so we need about 20 gigs with a little extra <laughs> room for you know the KB cache and all that good stuff. So this should easily, easily fit on a G6E 2XL instance, okay? So those are based on the, the L40S GPU and uh, those GPUs have 48 gigs of RAM. So this should fit very, very easily. Uh, you might even fit this on a, on a, on a smaller uh, GPU, obviously. But I love G6E, I think it's, uh, it's the best GPU instance you can use, uh, the best family instance you can use for uh, small language models on AWS. A really, really good cost performance. Okay, so point to the model on the Hugging Face Hub, define the instance type, and then we can just go and create the endpoint. Business as usual, create the model object called model.deploy, right? We've done this. A bunch of times and if it's the first time you see it um, no worries again you can go and read the notebook feel free to ask questions in the video description okay so it took um, it took a few minutes to deploy okay so now we have our endpoint and we can go and query it so that's a first payload suggest names for a neighborhood pet food store let's just run synchronous inference generating the full answer before printing it out okay and while we do that let's take a look at the price of that g6e instance so on demand price is 2.2 dollars that's actually the ec2 price SageMaker is a little more expensive um you could probably uh, i should give it a try but you should probably be able to deploy it on uh, uh, g6e x large uh, which is even even cheaper same gpu just a little less ram um host ram so it should still fit okay so this is very cost effective and if you go and do reserved instances you can see how you can probably run this for you know not even a dollar an hour which is uh hard to beat okay so we did generate our answer we can print it out. Once again, we see we have the uh, OpenAI um, format, which is nice because if you're using OpenAI today, uh, you can uh, minimize the amount of um, application code uh, rewriting, right? Uh, you'll probably need to adapt the prompts a little bit, but you won't have to change how your apps invoke the model, just switch the URL, okay? So that's cool. Uh, now let's try streaming. Just just put streaming to true, and 
uh, we have a small utility function to retrieve tokens as they are generated so let's write a marketing email let's see uh, how this works oh emojis okay so this is nice we could say hey no emojis uh, we wanted to have something a little more uh, enterprise uh, uh, compatible but you can also see uh, you can also see the speed of generation which is you know more than adequate even on a small instance like that right so of course if you went up and tried you know 12 excel which has four gpus or even 48 excel which has eight gpus it would go even faster generally i recommend uh scaling out and not scaling up uh, you will get more scalability with um, uh, a SageMaker endpoint that is backed by, let's say, several uh, G6 G6 E2XL instances, and scaling out and scaling in according to traffic, then going you know up and uh, and and trying to run everything on this, which is going to be you know more expensive as you can see. So it's very difficult to scale uh, to scale in when you have uh, less traffic, and uh, and the fact that you have eight GPUs, you know, doesn't mean it's going to run eight x faster than on this one right so you're better off running eight of these than one of these okay trust me uh okay uh let's try something else technical question okay again you can see this is more than fast enough okay pretty cool and let's try this one the motorcycle dealership email my favorite ah more emojis okay there you go so that's super easy to try um right just uh open your SageMaker, uh, grab my notebook run it give it a shot and of course when you're done please 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 i've been telling you for over 10 years <laughs> almost <laughs> please delete uh your instance to avoid unnecessary charges okay and ask your questions in the video description or ping me by email okay all right so that's virtuoso light our cool new uh, 10b model um, with amazing amazing benchmarks now let's take a look at this guy uh, medium v2 same story we're gonna run again uh, in that uh, same container this is a bigger model okay so this one won't fit on a single gpu so as we saw the next size up is g6e 12 xl with four gpus you know uh, aws wishlist item instances with two gpus but i'm not holding my breath that would be awesome or maybe i get lucky i don't know so we have to go to four, but that's okay because even four is pretty cost effective, okay? So we go and deploy this model in exactly the same way, right? Uh, build a model object called model deploy. This is why I like SageMaker because I can copy paste those notebooks, just change the model name, super simple. Okay, um, yeah, we'll, let's go to streaming inference directly, right? So we can see how fast this is okay let's try the marketing email again okay this is still plenty fast now we're leveraging those four gpus and now you you see why it's so important that we you know raise the bar on model quality model accuracy while you know uh, shrinking them to smaller and smaller sizes because that's the kind uh, you know maybe a year ago to get to that kind of performance uh, or generation quality, let's say, you would have needed a 70B model, and a 70B model would have been, you know, much, um, much bigger, obviously, you know, bulkier, slower. Um, I don't think we had G6E uh, a year ago, so, you know, God knows what kind of instance we would have needed for this, maybe P4, uh, which is way, way more expensive and even difficult to grab. So, this is great, right? Uh, same quality, faster, more cost effective on uh, smaller instances that are probably easier to procure. 
All right, that's what I wanted to tell you tonight. Uh, yeah, because it is nighttime for me. Um, the the model just hit the hogging phase, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes ago. And uh, well, I couldn't wait. I'm super excited. I think we're all super excited to bring those models to uh, all of you out there, to the community. Again, look at those benchmarks. Uh, this is pretty amazing. Do your homework. Don't trust me. And you will see, I'm sure, that those models are some of the best available out there, particularly uh, in this uh, in this size range. So the question you're probably uh, asking yourself is, okay, uh, that's DeepSeq V3, where's DeepSeq R1? Well, only thing I'm gonna say is, watch this space. Um, we're just getting started, you know us. And until next time, my friends, as always, you know what to do, keep rocking.